Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for July. One of the readings I'm going to do for July, but this is, for, this is a monthly reading, okay? We're going to get a past, present, and future pull. We're going to get clarifiers. This is going to be whatever comes up, whether it's love, money, home, whatever. Whatever comes up, comes up. Um, this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, however, however, okay? Take what resonates and leave the rest. This is for the sign of Virgo. These come out upright. It's just the way the deck is, okay? I won't be doing my other ones like that. My other ones will be, you know, with the reversals, the whole, you know, the same way. But with this deck, they, they, they go upright, okay? Doesn't matter. The messages are intuitive. My messages are intuitive. This is for Virgo, July 2018. Well, we have some flyers. Accelerated motion. Woohoo! Eight of Wands. Something is happening fast. Fertility, growth, rebirth, heart chakra, self love. I love. So you guys are. You're going through some sort of rebirth. You're going through a renewal, and it's happening very quickly. Learning to love yourselves again, perhaps, maybe. This is future, so. Then we have the Seven of Pentacles. The Three of Wands. The Strength card. Temperance. No, this is a hangman, I think. The tower. And the eight of pentacles. Let me make sure that this is zoomed in. There we go. All right. So in the past, you guys have been sacrificing, haven't you? You've been sacrificing yourself. You've been putting yourself last, right? And then isn't that what's been going on here? You guys have been putting yourself last on the list, hanging around, waiting, sacrificing your time, sit, sitting in limbo, resisting change. But I feel like that was the way past, right? Because it seems like now you guys are starting to invest. You're starting to invest in yourself. You're starting, you planted the seeds and now they're starting to grow. Okay, they are. You've, you've started making plans or something has happened that is changing your path. And we do have the tower here after all. Okay. So I do feel like there has been some sort of upheaval in your life. There's been some sort of, sort of rude awakening that has changed your path and it probably has changed your path pretty quickly, right? It feels as though, you know, you it's something you have been preparing for. It's like you you are waiting for the right moment and the right moment is now. It's now. Because, you know, you're you've gone through some sort of of rebirth or regrowth or renewal, growth, you know, internal growth and now um you guys are feeling really abundant. There's a lot of abundance here because that fertility card is the Empress card. And the Empress is very abundant. She's very beautiful. She's full of love. And I can see. I can see the love. I can see self-love here. A lot of it. And it's hap It's like it happened overnight. You know? You went through this period of sacrifice, stalling, not resisting change. And then it's like this light bulb came on. And it could have came on like through a disruption, through some sort of, of, of upheaval, you know, that turn that, that gave you that kick in the ass or it turned the light bulb on or gave you the epiphany that you needed that to, to stop sacrificing your time, stop taking yourself for granted, you know, stop taking your life for granted, whatever this was. And you were just waiting for that light bulb to go off. It's like you saw it coming, right? And now it feels as though it's, it's, it's on, the light is on, completely on, it's bright. 
and it feels like you guys are regaining the strength you guys are finding your power you're finding your strength you're finding your confidence and your courage to um put effort into yourselves put put yourself first and that's what is needed it really is so i feel like this is a this is a really big month for you where something has happened and it was a blessing in disguise it didn't seem like it was a blessing when it happened but as the month progresses you will see that it is such a blessing it is it is because it's bringing you more abundance than you ever thought that you could get you know a lot of happiness and love so there's there's love here um because you deserve it you do you've sacrificed yourself long enough there's you do deserve it so I feel as though this is a month of your hard work paying off. You know, all that, you've been enlightened, okay? You've been enlightened. Even if you were enlightened the hard way, you've been enlightened. And now you're about to reap some sort of reward for all this work that you've done, even if it wasn't the most pleasant work, okay? Something happened that has changed your path okay it's leading you down it's leading you down a path of more abundance okay put it that way so oh, i'm gonna get some clarifiers but i'm gonna use this deck something has happened it's happened really quick it's, it's happened very fast and it's and it's about this happened so that you could find the power to do what's right for you okay so whatever this this that's why it happened because you weren't you were sacrificing yourself you were sacrificing your own needs okay so therefore the the universe had to step in and and push you along because you weren't gonna do it you weren't okay you are an earth sign after all and earth signs don't like change so you know you weren't gonna do it so the universe has stepped in to to force growth and you know now you're now you're accepting it and and moving along very very quickly there's that damn tower again you know so yeah there's been some sort of you have the tower twice how often does that happen in a re reading not many times okay big it's really really big you guys were involved in a situation that was built on shaky ground Okay, it was built, it was, think of the the story of the three little pigs. Okay, it wasn't, it wasn't the, it wasn't the pig that did the hard work. It wasn't the brick house, okay, it was, it was the straw house, okay. So that's where you were at. You were in the situation where it wasn't built strong. It wasn't. For some reason, who knows why, it doesn't matter why. It doesn't matter why. The fact of the matter was, is that it wasn't meant to be, okay. That's why it broke down. Okay, so this was a blessing in disguise. It's something that you had been investing some time in. And I'm let me just think for a second. Um, hold on, I'm just trying to gather my thoughts. It's been, oh, it's been a while. It's been a long time. You guys have invested in something for quite some time trying to make it grow, trying to make it flourish. And it wasn't. It wasn't, it wasn't flourishing, it wasn't growing, it wasn't shining, it wasn't, you've been trying to. You were trying, this is the past, you were trying to, to get something to work. But if it wasn't meant to work, if it wasn't built strong, it was, it was going to break anyway. Okay, so it, it, it's just the way it is, right? Um, you know, it wasn't. It wasn't going to be successful. It wasn't. It wasn't. Um, it wasn't the truth. It wasn't your your true destiny. Okay. It wasn't whatever it was. It wasn't. It wasn't what you you truly needed. It wasn't. It wasn't the truth. It wasn't what you truly needed to make you happy. So. I know that's hard to understand, but I think you do understand because you guys have been stuck in a situation that was less than fulfilling, okay? So I want to clarify this um, three of wands here. This, yeah, you guys have been, in, been involved in a very disheartening, disappointing, perhaps, relationship. 
there's been a lack of of uh of love here you know there has that's the five of cups that's that's disappointing that's that's um lack of emotional content I'm, I'm really sad you guys have been in a sad situation where you there, there was no emotional fulfillment whether it's at work could have been at work okay it could have been at work with this three of three of wands it could have been at work but it could have been in your love life as well you've been involved in a situation that just was really 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 unhappy and you have had another opportunity waiting for you but you you were not going for it you were staying stuck there you were staying stuck in that spot where it was just wasn't meant for you okay just wasn't meant for you you were sacrificing yourself needlessly whether it's in, at home in your love life or it's at work and it feels as though you know you have a new opportunity you weren't seeing the new opportunity at all you weren't even looking for the new opportunity all you were looking at was was the heartache that you were going through that's all that you could fathom you know, therefore the universe had to step in to wake you up. They had to. They had to. So I feel like this disruption has happened because you weren't taking action. You were spending way too much time thinking about it. You know, no action. No action was being taken. So the tower moment happened. Okay, or it's going to happen because you're not, you're, you're sacrificing yourself needlessly. You were or you are. Okay, so the tower is going to happen. We have it twice. That's major. The universe is stepping in to change your path because you haven't done it yourself. They have given you the strength. They have given you the power to communicate, to make compromises, to bring togetherness into your life. And to start healing over some sort of heartache. They're answering your prayers. Threes are about your prayers have been heard. Three, three, three. This, these are your secret prayers. You were praying for this. You were. You were praying through this through your subconscious heart and mind and soul. This is what you wanted. But on the surface you couldn't move because you were. it was safe where you were at. It was safe, but it wasn't fulfilling you. So the universe says, okay, I see your heartache. I see your suffering. So I'm going to give you what you want. I'm going to support you emotionally and bring you that growth, that love, that you want something more emotionally content for you because you've been stalling and you've been avoiding the truth and it's really hurting you so I feel in the future you guys are gonna find the power and the strength and the confidence and the courage to take that blindfold off because you really don't have a choice. You ever hear it, see that quote or read that quote? There's a quote that says something about being strong. I wasn't given a choice. When you have to be strong because you weren't giving a choice. This is what this is. At this point, you're going to learn strength whether you like it or not. Because you've been hurting and unhappy in a situation and staying there anyway. And therefore, they don't want you to be withdrawn and detached and cold and complacent. They want you to love yourself. They want you to master your emotions. And be your own advocate. Because that's what the Empress is. She's her own advocate. 
You have options. You have options, Virgo. You're probably a little confused. But it's time to go after what you deserve. You're about to get what you deserve. Because the universe has your back. So I feel like this is a month of things happening very, very quickly in your favor. It's bringing you abundance. More abundance than you ever thought possible. With love. Something that you are going to absolutely love. You've been holding on to something needlessly. And the universe wants you to work hard on releasing it. This is the Eight of Pentacles. Releasing this. It's like you are gripping on. You're gripping on to something that it really has no benefit to your to self love because here we have self love it's not benefiting you and it's caused you a lot of worry it's caused you a lot of sleepless nights and this is what you've been waiting for you've been praying for this to end or praying for the answer praying for guidance praying for help Help's arrived. Your help has arrived. There's your sleepless nights right there. So this is a month of things happening right now. The time is now. Eight, eight, eight. Right now. Your life is changing for the better. Right now. Congratulations. Congratulations.